Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about the abilities awakening for the XPS Rangers. Let's start from Dark Veritas. He is probably my favorite character on this batch, okay? First ability awakening impact. This is really good ability. This is one of the reason why he is so good as a character. 45% breaks are simply good even at this point of the game. However, I don't think this awakening is useful. At plus one, you get damage upgrade, but my question, what for? His magic stats is low, so even with this damage upgrade, he still gonna deal minor damage to the enemies. The plus two upgrade is also kinda unnecessary. I don't say it is bad, okay? But remember, he already able to imperil 50% dark resist, so you should bring dark elemental attacker to the battle to utilize that also because he is a chainer you should have a partner for him and his chaining partner probably able to imperil certain element by themselves so yeah for example agrias for light resist however remember i don't say this is bad okay this is still nice if you bring multiple elemental attackers on your party for example if you use dark veritas agrias and dragon lord that way you need fire imperil to Im multiply the dragon lord damage so yeah on that cast this is useful but remember this awakening is not your priority Okay, so upgrade other first. Luckily, it only uses Black Crest, but the guild cost is still quite high. The duration upgrade is, yeah, also nice. Next awakening, Dark Lord passive. This passive make him on par with recent attackers. Before getting this awakening, he only has 70% attack, and that's below average. With this. He has 100% attack boost, which is same like Regan, but yeah, he doesn't have dual wield. But right now, there is a Sasuke Katana, which is super useful for a character like him. So Sasuke Katana is really good for Dark Freitas because you don't need to waste any slot for dual wield. And yeah, maybe for Orlando, on yeah, you get the idea. A chainer who doesn't have any dual wield. The health upgrade is nice now he has 50 percent health boost which is huge the interesting thing about this dark lord is it gives you fake double hand it only boosts your equipment attack if you use one handed weapon so his damage multiplier is low okay because this only works for one handed also there is no w ability for him so my suggestion for you is still to make him into dual wield chainer sure it is nice for those who doesn't have dual wield but for those who have an access to dual wield you should forget about this okay because as a chainer you want that second dark punishment unless of course let's say you use double hand Sephiroth as your chaining partner then yeah you only need this okay i mean you need this double hand because you also only need one dark punisher and yeah the third dark punishment this is simply an unusual upgrade for landu family upgrade landu family chaining skills okay the upgraded damage from four times to 5.2 times so very nice make sure you upgrade this because this is your main skill in the battle the cost is expensive but worth the effect okay and the last ability awakening dark edge and this is also good because like you know that good dark weapon is kind of hard to find okay so yeah from what i remember great sword he need to equip great sword so far free great sword is only organics the trust master you can get glow car but yeah that's trust master so you probably won't have an access to that maybe you have one but with this skill you can simply give that 
Glauca Greatsword to your chaining partner and yeah use this skill to add element to add dark element to himself so very nice for elemental chaining the damage of this skill is also quite big six times so you don't waste a, you seem you see you don't waste a turn okay because you still do something the killer passes are good but it's also useless at the same time because it only lasts for one turn okay so yeah it it can become good on certain situation when yeah you try to one shot the enemy but on general situation this is not that useful my suggestion for you is to awaken dark punishment and dark lord passive first okay after upgrading those you can choose okay which one you want to upgrade uh, impact or this one it is up to you before awakening maybe he is only 9 out of 10 but after awakening I think he is 12.5 out of 13 enough about dark veritas let's move to the light veritas the first ability awakening define shot it is her main chaining skills and after awakening it deals nice amount of damage it is higher than kunshira like chaining attack but if you compare it to other hybrid attacker Freyavia, then i can say this awakening is inferior frost flower blitz deal 10 times damage and imperil 75 percent ice resist but yeah, I perfectly understand that this is an AoE attack while FF Blitz is single target attack. But again, this skill doesn't have chaining partner unlike Frost Flower Blitz. Still, it is a good skill if you use her frequently in the battle. Next, Splendor plus 2. It is probably your priority. It gives you 30% attack and magic when equipping heavy armor. This maker has 110% magic and 80% attack. So it is a little bit better than Kunshira's 90% attack and magic. The downside is you need to equip heavy armor which is not the best source for magic stats. However, the most important awakening from this ability is you able to use your Saint Buster at the start of the battle. This is really useful especially for raid bosses when you want to farm them quickly. Remember that Saint Buster only available on the first turn so after you use it, you need to do the setup again next license to kill this is also a nice addition for her so yeah we get a reason to use her on certain battle this enemies types are usually the hardest one too for example i Gaian for mechanical mobor tag mine and bloody moon the last awakening is ultima and yeah simply ignore this because all your abilities do more damage than this and you don't have dual cast or black magic so it is really bad her awakening is good okay but the problem is same like before her equipment choice throwing weapon and gun and yeah lack of chaining partner so i think if you don't use her frequently before even with his her awakening okay even with her awakening you probably still not gonna use her especially for those okay those battles where she can deal extra damage but yeah he is she is still a solid character i give her 11.5 to 12 out of 13 after awakening finally the last veritas on this video Veritas of the Flame. So he is considered a troll and I can see why. His first awakening gives him huge attack boost if he equip Ox. Yes, it is nice 120% attack boost which is about the same like Awakened Lunette. 
However, Lunate has innate dual wield and I believe you have known that Veritas of Flame best weapon is fixed dice, not an axe. Okay, next Flame Lord plus two. It is a nice boost for your survivability, but the double axe ability is kind of futile. Don't get me wrong. Okay, they are nice, but you cannot use your storm skill with this. So basically, this is also useless, right? Because yeah, his axe skills are basically in peril. So why do you need two elemental in peril in one turn? Yeah, maybe if you bring multiple elemental attack, then it is useful. But again, why you do that? You want to mm, do an elemental chain. Okay, so this probably one that useful. Okay, and now the last okay the heavy storm plus two this one deals six times damage after awakening but again compared to lunette's awakened katru then this is simply inferior especially without dual wield this skill can deal i mean can unlock power storm which is very good finisher skill because power storm deals 10 times damage so if you equip him with dual wield he deals 32 times damage in two turns which means 16 times damage per turn which is higher than awakened lunette so like you can see that he is not that bad but yeah definitely not top tier because as a finisher you want to have true double hand i think he is 11 out of 13 after awakening so yep i think that's all you need to know about these characters the rest abilities awakening for other fairy tests and preach will be covered on other video thanks for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave experience guide bye bye guys